Welcome to the Psalm Library premiere of Psalm 72, Long Live the King, written by Dr. Paul Elliott and Kip Fox. The Psalm Library is one of the initiatives of the Center for Worship Leadership at Concordia University in Irvine, California, where we encourage the collaboration of theologians and songwriters in producing psalm arrangements and settings for the church. Today's short program is split into two parts. The first part, Dr. Elliot will explore the text of Psalm 72 with us, just as he did during the process of writing the song with Kip. And then you will hear the song itself, the final product, the collaboration between theologian and songwriter. Thanks for joining us for this premiere. We hope you enjoy. Psalm 72, composed by the great King Solomon, begins by laying out its main ideas. God, give your justice to the king, your righteousness to the son of the king. This is a song about God's relationship to the king of Israel. And we see here that the main purpose of kingship is to be an agent of God's justice and righteousness on earth. The king enacts divine justice when he keeps the people in God's righteous covenant when he does justice against their enemies and their oppressors, and when he has mercy on the lowly and the weak. The result of this justice is shalom, often translated peace, but perhaps better described as total well-being. Solomon writes, May he come down like rain upon the mown grass, like downpours that drop upon the earth. May the righteous one blossom in his days. May there be much well-being until the moon is no more. In other words, just as the rain creates the conditions for plants to blossom and grow, so a godly king creates the conditions for the righteous ones to thrive and flourish. This psalm calls down blessings on the righteous king, proclaiming that his rule will be unbounded by time or space. His rule will endure as long as the sun and the moon, and it will continue even after the sun and moon are no more. His name will be forever. And the king's empire will reach to the ends of the earth, and the psalm lists a number of exotic locales that will come under his power. He will become king over the desert tribes, over Tarshish and the faraway coastlands, over Sheba and Seba. And all this goes well beyond the power that any Israelite king ever wielded, even the mighty King Solomon. After all, Solomon did not reign forever but he died at the age of 62. And his kingdom did not reach any of the distant lands mentioned here. At its height, Solomon's kingdom was the size of New Jersey. So is this merely royal propaganda? No, rather it points to a king whose glory far surpassed that of Solomon. Jesus Christ is the true fulfillment of Israelite kingship. He is both the perfect agent of God's justice and the prince of peace. But he goes beyond what any earthly king could ever do. He established justice by making sinners into righteous people through his death on the cross. And he created peace not only between humans, but also between God and humanity. And he does this not only for Israel, but for all nations and peoples. And his reign never ends. Traditionally, kings have been greeted with the words, long live the king or may he live forever. But we know that earthly monarchs will all perish. They will all go down to the grave, the way of all flesh. But our king has already been in the grave, and now he lives triumphant over it. So the greeting takes on its truest meaning. Long live the king, for he lives and reigns until this sun and moon have become just distant memories, and we will forever flourish as his people. This is the theological framework of Psalm 72 that my collaborator Kip Fox put into verse and set to music. On behalf of our writing team, we hope that you enjoy this interpretation of the 72nd Psalm entitled, Long Live the King. His coming lifts 
keeps the eyes of the poor For all the powers of their oppressor Can hurt them no more He is a king like no one before him His justice falls like rain on the hills And all who live their lives with that hunger Will have their fill Let the heavens ring with his praise